Cannot fight a quarter. Death by quarter. Where's the freaking quarter for my grocery cart? <laughs> Hey friends, welcome to this edition for Keto Diet for Beginners at Aldi. We're going to be doing lots of awesome grocery shopping. If you are brand stinking new, make sure you get my free Keto Diet meal plan, my gift to you. Also, if you are a Keto Diet beginner, make sure you figure out your macros, your fat grams, your protein grams, and 20 carbs or 20 net carbs. I do have a link. I will make sure it's down below for a free macros calculator where you can figure out what your daggone macros are. That's going to tell you the portion sizes of what you're going to eat. But what you actually eat from Aldi, I got a whole bunch of goodies for you. Make sure you smash that like button, click subscribe, and let me go show you all of my keto diet for beginners from Aldi. I feel like I do this every time I grab for their almond butter. I grab it, I look at the ingredients, and every time I've done this like six times, they're not clean ingredients for their natural no GMO almond butter. It actually has cane, sugar, and palm oil, so this will not be a good choice because of the sweetener added into it and because of the palm oil. So I'm going to put it back and hopefully I won't make the same mistake again. The cauliflower crust may seem like a great option, but it actually has 28 carbs per serving size. So I'm going to put this puppy back. Don't fall for the marketing tricks as a new beginner. First stop I always go to is for the organic spinach. I grab two things of that because I have at every single keto meal two cups of spinach for the potassium. So I'm going to go ahead and snag two of those. I do like to look for the discounted ones, which is a great way to have organic foods without paying the full price for it. Now you may be surprised how much fat you need to have on the ketogenic diet. As a keto diet beginner, you very well may be surprised. So I implore you go check out what your macros are and start tracking them to figure out your portion sizes. If you have a weight loss goal, that is probably why. Whichever your preference is, either avocados or guacamole, get one. This is my second keto food that I recommend for keto diet for beginners from your Aldi shopping. Either get some guacamole or get an avocado. If you get their guacamole, just make sure it doesn't have corn or black beans added, which would be inflammatory and not, not the best for anti-inflammation on the ketogenic diet. But get your high fats in through avocado. It's a great way to get high fat um, and get some good fiber in too. You can pick out their guacamole. Just make sure, again, you check the ingredients or get whole avocados and use my avocado rotation system, which is down on the playlist. So the cheese section is the next awesome Aldi keto diet beginner meal, or not meal, snack or food I would get to add for your keto meals. Pick any cheese you want. Um, they've got tons of flavors. Just find one that makes you excited. Maybe it's a brie, maybe it's a gouda. Get some sort of Zsa, Zsa cheese to add. It will make you feel better about your keto meals. Particularly when you're first starting, you'll be excited to actually eat the keto meal if you're a beginner. Another awesome find is this chorizo. I ended up getting two packages. I like having really easily grabbing keto snacks or if my kid wants something for school, it's a quick high fat, moderate protein, low carb item to get. In addition, they do have party packs down there, which are great if you want to have your pepperoni or salami already cut. If you're having a party or something, these are great to bring. Of course, you can make your own. It'll be a lot cheaper. Just make sure, of course, you don't have the crackers. You can give those to the dog if you want. Fun is this section with these seasonal items. They have cheese in an ornament. Yes, I said cheese in an ornament. 
or a snowman cheese. I'm half tempted to get this for my little boy. They also have a cheddar cheese in as a star, and then the little Santa Claus cheddar cheese too. I may grab one of these just because I think he's so cute. Finding this video helpful, make sure you click like, click subscribe with the bell notifications, and sign up for my free keto diet meal plan down in the description link below. I was fascinated that they had this crab, um, the it's fresh crab lump, jumbo lump crab meat. Usually I get ours from Costco, um, but I was surprised this was a great seasonal item. They're having tons of seasonal items. Just make sure you're checking for what the rotation is. I love all these apple cider vinegar. If I don't have it in my pantry, I get annoyed. So as a keto diet beginner, I would encourage you to start stocking up and getting apple cider vinegar. You can use it for crock pot dishes, soups, marinating your meats, lots of different uses, and it's so helpful for us. So I love this section. For their fats, they have tons of coconut oil, ghee, avocado oil, olive oil. I love their avocado oil. This would definitely be a pick. The price is a good price tag. Um, it's cold pressed. It's really, really good. It tastes delicious. And it's only $6.99 for this whole bottle. It's a good deal. Their extra virgin olive oil is awesome too. As I always say for olive oils, make sure they don't have canola oil. It's a sneaky way that some manufacturers are. Um, making the olive oil cheaper, but not having the, the, it, the canola oil has inflammatory properties. These do not, but always double check. I do buy from a local olive oil company because I like to support them. So, but if you are not near one of those, get some of the Aldi ones. They're great as a beginner to get your high fats in. Another one of my must, another one of my must-have keto products is their tomato sauce. It's only 29 cents, and it's actually less carbs than the Amazon low sugar version. It's four carbs for one fourth a cup, zero grams of sugar. Is it zero grams of sugar? Two grams of sugar. It's better macros than other brands that are way more expensive. For 29 cents, you can get a lot of bang for your buck, and you really need limited quantities. If you're wanting a tomato sauce, use an Alfredo sauce. You can make your kind of blue card Alfredo sauce. Just don't purchase down this aisle the canned jarred Alfredo sauce. It's full of carbs, creepy carbs, inflammatory properties. Just make your own out of cream, butter, cream cheese, and parm. I was just talking with a friend about these red meat discounted stickers. Get your meat. There's nothing wrong with them. Usually they just over purchased or you just need to freeze it by that date. It's a great way to save on meat. I personally don't purchase my meat at Aldi just because we do a meat CSA and it's cheaper and we support local farmers. But you can get your red sticker meat here. Nothing is wrong with it. It's delicious meat. another great keto snack or something to have in addition with your keto food choices. They're awesome. They're a low carb great treat. Just make sure there's no sugars added and always check the ingredients. Olives are another awesome great keto choice if you want to get some good high fats in or if you're low on your macros for the day. That's a great choice to get. So we have a soda stream that I'm obsessed with, and I recently, not recently, but in the past three or four years, I've stopped drinking as much diet soda, and sparkling water has been my saving grace. I highly recommend it if you want to stop having diet soda, get some sparkling water, it tastes delicious. For my awesome keto biscuits, I do use this coconut flour. I highly recommend it. It's really, really good, and the price tag on it's great too. They do have the almond flour, a little more pricey. You can actually get it from Amazon. 
um, for a less expensive price. But their keto flour, it's a really, really good choice, and I do highly recommend it. So I implore you, do not get their bone broth here, their chicken bone broth, their beef bone broth. It's made out of stock. That's the number one ingredient is the stock. You want actual bone broth, like made from bones, not from meat. Um, you can make your own. You can do your own in Instapot by getting your own organic bones and doing it yourself, which is a great way to, and an expensive way to do it. I order mine on auto subscription through Bond Bone Broth. I will link down below. Um, they're not sponsored. I, I pay for it every week to have it shipped to my house. But these are simply chicken stock. It is marketed. Check out the back label on all of your ingredients. This would not be a good choice to get um, from Aldi because it's chicken stock. So this specialty aisle is my downfall. I am really trying to stay away from it. I had to get a couple of things. This will end up being one of my own Christmas gifts. This cute um, olive oil package, it was only nine bucks, so $3 per olive oil. And again, we do like to buy it from a local olive oil dealer, but uh, I couldn't pass it up. It was too cute not to get. I do recommend their macadamia nuts. They're really good. Uh, Amazon has the best ones, but these are the best for a grocery store that you don't need to order online. So I'm gonna go ahead and snag two bags. They're $8.99. These are an awesome low carb keto snack. If you're looking for something just to kind of grab and go for your kids or for yourself, it's a great, easy, delicious snack to get. So definitely getting your butter from here. They have something akin to the Kerrygold grass-fed butter. Definitely get, I do like their uncured hot dogs as a great keto dinner. Their bacon's great. Their cream is heavy. Whipping cream is great choice. Their shredded cheese. Just be mindful there's additives in their shredded cheese, which is why I encourage getting the fresh big blocks of cheese instead. Their eggs are a great choice. I mean, you can go down this aisle and literally get tons and tons of my keto meal prep items straight out of this section. So I do have a Aldi freezer section video and I talk a great deal about their steak, their Philly steak cheeses. It's a great no carb, low carb item to get and super, super easy to make. I ended up snagging two packets of them on this go around. My impulse purchase, I got one of these last year if you saw my other Aldi keto video, but I had to get two because we fought over them in our household. Two of these, um, they're the karaoke microphones. They're really funny, particularly late at night if you want to wake somebody up. They're hilarious, so I got two of them. So they have tons of stocking stuffer items down here between having Mad Libs and microscopes and little, little Lego guys. And I got a bunch of things from my niece and nephew down this aisle. It's a really good choice if you want some inexpensive, thoughtful, creative Christmas idea. Um, I know this is my keto diet beginner, but I'm not multitask. I had to get some of my Christmas stuff down this section. Just don't get tempted by the red tortilla chips. Put your blinders on, keep your goals and your intentions in front of you, and um, keep it on. So it's going to snow in Virginia. Let me go home and show you everything I got. Okay, so I'm back from my Aldi haul. I got all my goodies here, and I'm super pumped to show you everything that I got for the ketogenic diet from my Aldi haul. So first thing, I did get for Christmas these awesome olive oil um, bundle packages. It will be a gift for somebody or a stocking stuffer or something fabulous. I normally buy local, but I decided just to get these and we are going to use them for some Christmas gifts. Next thing that I got was these awesome Philly um, sliced. Normally we buy our meat from a local meat CSA, organic raised, um, and then another meat provider that we get from is not organic raised, but they are humanely raised. And so I like to buy my meat from them, but it is winter time, and these are some of my favorite keto meal treats. It's these Philly cheesesteak. Um, they're really, really simple, and it says it's zero carbs. We know food manufacturers lie. So I make it one carb per serving. Um, it, it, it says there's 14 servings. So I, I would say that this is maybe a two or three carb product, even though the labeling is saying zero. And in terms of the ingredients, the ingredients for these, the reason why I like it so much is that the ingredients are just beef. There's no other fillers or whack job stuff and it's very thinly sliced, so I didn't get two packs of those. The trick now will be just putting them in my freezer. The next thing I got was more coconut flour. If you saw my Thanksgiving keto biscuit video, we're gonna be making more biscuits for the holidays, so I got that. 
I got some Parmesan cheese. Of course, we know this has creepy carbs in it, but it was an awesome choice just to grab for my Countess Alfredo. They had the cutest Santa guys. I had to go snag um, one of these. These will be cute for our little Christmas food tray that we're gonna be having, along with some spreadable cheese. I question the ingredients in this um, as I go through to see. Yeah, it has, it has some questionable ingredients, but you know what, it will be fun for Christmas. This is a better choice than say, um, white bread. So we will use this horseradish and cheddar. I think this would be fun to add into my keto mashed potatoes. So I will probably be using that because of the horseradish. I did get my spaghetti squash. If you've seen my how to cook spaghetti squash video, super, super simple, a great way to make keto pasta out of this. And you can use my Countess Alfredo. I did also get for the Christmas season, the baked brie. Um, it has cranberry glaze, so this is not keto. But I thought it was a fun little thing at saying um, one ounce is two carbs and sugar, 1.5 carbs in it, 1.5 grams of sugar. So I, I knew it was gonna be a high sugar item, but I thought it was cute to grab for Christmas. I did get active yeast and dry yeast packages. Now I'm not sure, you told me I could make keto bread with the yeast. So I, I don't know, I'm gonna try it. Y'all told me I could, so I'm gonna believe you. But I could use this yeast in my keto bread recipe. So you'll see that at a future date. I got active and then there's another kind. I got two kinds of yeast that I will be testing with. I did get, in terms of coffee, I normally buy my Starbucks coffee, but I couldn't pass these up. We had gotten the seasonal caramel macchiato and it was so good, it was like $3 or $3.50. Um, and so I wanted to try some other flavors. I don't have that, I don't use that during intermittent fasting. This is strictly during my eating windows because it may spike insulin. I don't know, I'm gonna be testing it though. But this one is the Mocha Mint Seasonal Blend and this one is White Chocolate. So, we shall see. We shall see, we shall see. I was excited to try them and they were a limited edition so we'll see if they are good or not. I did get these because I got them last year and they sold out. These microphones are huge. We used it, we bought one last year. It was so fun with our family. I ended up buying two. These will be little stocking stuffers for people. Um, they're just fun, like if they're a karaoke microphone. It's, it's, it's funny, we literally peed our pants with laughter. And then I got my sweet nephew, hopefully he's not watching this YouTube, uh, Mad Libs, they have these huge book of Mad Libs there for his stocking stuffer as well. Just a fun little, and it was only like $4. Um, did you guys do Mad Libs? Did you guys do Mad Libs? So these were my keto products. Oh, and the most important thing that I had to get, and I'm gonna do right now, is my spinach, of course, baby spinach. Two cups, not baby spinach, but spinach in general, two cups per meal, per keto meal, helps with the high potassium. I will make these, literally, I will parcel them out right now. I will go put them in my glass Pyrex containers. If I don't, I will not eat it. If I don't, I will not eat it. So I'm gonna go parcel these out right now, and then that way, that part of my meal prep is done. And that's our Aldi Keto haul for this edition. So if you found this video helpful, make sure you click subscribe. Make sure you uh, sign up for my free keto meal plan. And make sure you click uh, subscribe with the bell notifications and get that free keto meal plan. I'll see you next time, guys. Make it a powerful day.